Here is a capability within uh, Nastran uh, to apply the aeroelastic capabilities to aerodynamic models that use uh, CFT techniques. Unlike the panel methods that have been the workhorse of Nastran aeroelasticity, uh, these CFT models can have a large number of grades uh, going to a million or even more. This presents a challenge to the splining methods that were initially developed uh, to handle a few hundred grades that need to be splined. Uh, with the large number of grades that need to be splined, a novel approach uh, needed to be used to overcome the performance limitations. And this is done by breaking a single spline into a number of smaller splines. Uh, with a smaller set of grades for each spline, uh, the required matrix operations are applied to smaller systems which results in better performance. Equally important, uh, the resulting spline matrices are less dense uh, so that the subsequent operations such as partitioning and uh, multiplications are faster and also require less disk space. A second issue is also addressed in this release. Uh, relaxation techniques uh, invoked via the uh, SP Relax bulk data entry cannot guarantee to preserve the moments acting on the model. Uh, forces, however, are preserved. Uh, the severity of this shortcoming has not been quantified, but it seems prudent to provide the user with a way of applying the relaxation to only the disp spline, but not the force spline. Uh, this feature is uh, incorporated in this release. Here is an example of a system with close to 60,000 structural grids and 370,000 aerodynamic grids and uh, 730,000 aerodynamic elements. There are 20 spline 4 entries in the model. On the right side, uh, you can see a comparison of uh, resource usage in current release uh, compared with 2010 uh, release. Uh, Nastran 2011 achieves superior performance while using less I.O. and disk space as uh, you can see in these uh, plots.